So I'd put up a video on how you can make your homemade briquettes and I had a lot of requests on how to actually make the, the binder. So this is a follow-up video and shortest video I've ever done. So basically how you make a binder and the whole purpose of a binder is to make uh, the charcoal dust used for making uh, briquettes and the water basically to stick together for the particles to stick together so what you do you see I have uh, you take any home baking flour I'm using soko you can use any and then you use a sufuria for boiling there is your flour in a cup and then you need some water so basically what you do is you take the flour and then you make a porridge like uh, consistency yeah? and then you bring to a boil so this is how it's done you take your flour as you can see this is cooking flour the one you use for baking uh, or what I'm going to do I'm going to demonstrate only using that small amount of flour so this is what I like to do. Take your flour, okay, and then you pour it inside, and then you take uh, some bit of water. So you can use little water, and then as you bring the mixture the binder to a boil that's when you can check the consistency but it should basically be like porridge so you give it a mix give it a mix okay. just a gentle mix is enough You see that? Let me add all the flour, the cooking flour. So give it a mix. Once you're done, uh, you see, I hope you can see the consistency clearly, looks like milk, pour it in the sufuria, okay, guys, and then bring it to a boil, so here it is. Uh, so make sure as you heat it, you give it a stir because it tends to stick at the bottom of the sulfuria. So keep on doing this. For the consistency, it should basically be a little bit runny. So give it a stir. If you get to a point where you feel it's too thick, uh, add some water basically the consistency should be slimy runny porridge like okay you mix as you mix uh, porridge so there it is uh, you let it come to a boil
so it started boiling so when it's close to the boiling point you'll notice it tends to get thicker so don't think you can tell that from the camera but it's it's very viscous it's thick basically Guys, uh, there are no like really right measurements for at one cup of flour. Use your discretion. Use your discretion, use your eyes. Basically, uh, the homemade briquettes, they require very little, very little amount of binder. So there, you have it. See, it's very thick actually. So I'm going to add some bit of water small amount of flour that we put imagine it's enough to fill all this this sufuria so you use very kidogo baking flour as I said in the previous video on how to make briquettes uh, some people use corn flour some people use cassava flour I personally prefer home baking flour and guys if you're still with me and you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe they'll be doing a lot of these updates to help you learn how to save costs around the house while brooding chicks make sure you comment below Uh, I'll also be a, doing a video on how to make a brooding pro pot from scratch. Eh? So guys, make sure you subscribe and share with your friends. I'll really appreciate that. Uh, if you like this video, kindly comment down below. Tell me if you've actually managed to make your own briquettes. Let me know. Send me pictures. Tag me. And that's it for today. Have a lovely evening. Bye.